Hey y'all, so I got a question on YouTube the other day from GA Bass and TV, and he asked, what was a creek channel and how do I find one? And I thought that was a great question because I think the creek channels are the key to unlocking any lake or river around the country. So I want to show you what a creek channel is, how to find them, and how to use them to catch more bass on any lake in the country. Okay, so first off, what is a creek channel? And instead of trying to explain that in words, I want to give you a visual example using a little creek by my apartment. So this creek runs through a field and it's about two or three feet deep. Now let's imagine that there's a big rain and uh, this field gets flooded in 10 or 12 feet of water, creating a pond or a lake. Well, that little creek is still going to be running through that newly formed lake. And that little creek there that's flooded under 10 feet of water is now a creek channel. It's a little bit deeper water that uh, is formed by old rivers or creeks that run through any lake or river. So now that you know what the creek channel is, how do you find one in your home lake? And the easiest way to find one is actually using a contour line map or a topo map. And uh, there's a lot of good ones out there. You can either get the Lake Master, the Navionics, uh, mapping chips for your Hummingbird and Lowrance units. You can also get the Navionics mobile app, which has all of these contour maps uh, accessible on your phone for $10 and also has built-in GPS. So you can take those maps to the lake and follow around using the GPS in your phone. You can also go to the Navionics web app, which is a free app online and it has access to thousands of lakes around the country and you can look at them at home before you head out in the lake and it's a really useful tool. So now that you have your topo map, how do you actually find the creek channels? Well, all you have to do is look for the deep water on this map. So look at the individual contour lines and try to find the deepest contour line you can find. Normally that's going to be the center of either a creek channel or a river channel. And then you wanna look for areas that uh, run up against shallow areas. So uh, right here we have a flat that's sitting about 10 feet of water and a creek channel that's about 40 feet deep running alongside of it. And that break from shallow to deep water is gonna be a great spot to find fish year round. You'll also notice when you're looking at this topo map that you're gonna have a lot of different creek channels running through your lake. And normally there's gonna be one main channel, that's called the river channel, that runs through the entire lake. Then you'll have smaller creek channels that stick off from the side that form the bays and the creeks that run up and down this lake. So let's say your home lake doesn't have a contour line map for it, and a lot of small lakes don't. How do you find a creek channel? Well, the second best way to find one is using your electronics. Here's an image from my hummingbird graph, and as you can see, I idled for a while over a flat piece of water. Then the bottom suddenly dropped off into deeper water and created this V, and then came back up. That's your creek channel. And you can normally idle around a lake and look for these uh, changes in depth, and whenever you have a sharp change in depth from shallow to deep water, that's going to be your creek channel. Okay, so now we know how to find creek channels, but how do you actually use them to find and catch more bass? Well, I want to walk you through the four seasons of the year and show you how to use creek channels in each season to find and catch more bass. Okay, so first off is the winter time. And in the winter, I start off by looking for areas where the main river channel and a creek channel meet. In the winter, a lot of bass like to sit on the edge of big main lake flats, and they'll either suspend over the creek channel, or they'll sit right on the break of that flat and that creek channel where they meet, and they'll sit on rocks and brush piles or suspend over trees. And I like to target these fish with either an umbrella rig, a jigging spoon, or a grub. And I'll just work that bait really slowly in that deep water, and a lot of times you can catch your biggest fish of the year doing this. Another great place to find winter bass related to creek channels are on bluff walls. A bluff wall is basically any place where a creek channel runs right up next to the bank and creates a sharp drop from let's say two or three feet of water on the shore down into 30 or 40 feet of water. And normally I'll target these bluff walls with either a jerk bait or a football jig and I'll cast parallel down the wall and just work that bait nice and slow. And normally these fish will pull up really close to the wall when the sun comes up and they'll feed on any shad they're dying because of the cold water and you can catch a lot of really big bass doing this in the winter. So moving on to the pre-spawn in February and March, 
uh, the fish are going to follow these creek channels out from the main lake back into these creeks and they're going to set up on these secondary points that have the creek channel running really close to them. What these fish like to do is pull up on these shallow points and feed when the weather's nice, but then if there's a cold front or the weather uh, gets really cold, they'll pull off back into that creek channel and just hunker down there suspended. And I'll normally target these secondary points with either a jerkbait, a crankbait, or a Carolina rig. And I'll normally just throw right up across those points with like a medium diving crankbait or any bait that hits the bottom and just fish it really slow down there. And a lot of times you can catch a lot of really big pre-spawn bass to pull up on these secondary points. Moving into the spawn, bass are going to follow these creek channels back into the back of creeks and big bays and spawn on flat shallow banks. And from my experience, some of the biggest bass during the spawn will spawn pretty close to a creek channel. And the reason for this is because a lot of times you'll have snap cold fronts that occur in April and May, and these big bass like the ability to quickly move from their spawning grounds in the shallow water back into a creek channel. And the creek channel doesn't have to be that deep, it could just be two or three feet of water next to a foot, but they just like that protection of having a little bit deeper water close by. So in the spawn, always look for areas where that creek channel is running up close to a bank, because that's where you're gonna find your biggest bass. Once these bass are done spawning in May and June, they're normally going to pull out from their spawning areas and move back to the areas where they set up in the pre-spawn. And instead of sitting deeper off these secondary points, they're actually going to be up close to the bank and you can catch them on flukes and chatterbaits and buzzbaits. And it's a really fun time of year to go out and fish because you can normally just run all these shallow secondary points near creek channels and just catch a lot of big bass. So as it starts to heat up into June and July, these fish are going to pull out of the creeks and move back out to the main lake. And they're normally going to relate to creek channels on the edge of main lake flats, kind of like they did in the winter time, but normally they're going to be a little bit shallower and anywhere from 10 to 20 feet of water. And this is a really great time to fish offshore with a deep diving crankbait, a big worm, or a football jig. And you can normally catch a lot of really big aggressive fish that are feeding up after the spawn. And last but not least, we have the fall. And this is one of the hardest times of year to fish because what happens this time of year is the lakes start to turn over and all of the cool water at the bottom of the lake is going to rise up and just mix with the warmer water. And so the whole lake is going to be one temperature and basically that spreads the fish out from anywhere from 60 feet of water all the way up to 6 inches of water. And this time of year, fish are just going to be focused on feeding on bait and following bait. So normally it's kind of hard to pin down where the fish are going to be within a given lake, but normally they're going to be relating to a creek channel somewhere, whether it's up shallow where they spawned or out deep where they winter. So uh, you have to do a little bit more work in the fall to find the fish, but if you can find the bait, you'll find the bass. So that's it. I hope they answered the question and I hope you learned something about how to use creek channels to find fish. So if you did, hit like and subscribe down below and also share this video with a friend who might find this video helpful. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.